with Spurtle and Trivet. Today I'd like to tell you about something called lecithin. It's an emulsifier, which means that it holds together an emulsion, which is a mixture of two liquids that don't necessarily mix with each other. The most common emulsion that people will talk about is oil and vinegar, like in salad dressing. You may know that when you purchase something like an Italian salad dressing that the oil and vinegar often separate in your refrigerator or wherever you keep your salad dressing. But often there is something called lecithin in your salad dressing to keep that separation from happening too quickly. And so I'd like to show you a demonstration of that today. The way that it works is that lecithin is what's called amphipathic, which is from the Greek, and it means liking both. Ampha, both, and pathic, loving. And the reason it likes both foods with charge and foods without charge, the oil has no charge, and the lecithin molecules have a long chain of fatty acids which have no charge, but they also have a head of a phosphate which does have charge. And that interacts with the vinegar portion while the long fatty acid chain interacts with the oil portion and makes them stay together in their mixture. So what I'm doing now is I've got two tablespoons of olive oil in each of these little beakers and now I'm putting in two tablespoons of vinegar. And to just one of these bottles I'm going to add half a teaspoon of lecithin. And lecithin is made up of a lot of things called phosphatides, which are what I described to you before. And I got this particular bottle of lecithin sold as a supplement because the phosphatides are actually the things that help make cell membranes. So when your body is making new cells, it needs these phosphatides. And that's why lecithin is actually good for you. But you don't need a certain amount of lecithin because your body can actually make the phosphatides too. You could probably see that the lecithin did not want to come out of the bottle and it didn't want to come out of the spoon. And that's for the same reason that it makes the oil and vinegar mix it is willing to attach to just about anything. And it makes it really hard to clean too because it doesn't attach to the soap like an oil would and it doesn't attach like to the water like anything that's not an oil would. But we have one can that contains lecithin and one that contains no lecithin. And we're going to shake them up and then we'll watch them separate and see what happens. Then once they're shaken up real good, we'll put them down and watch them separate. The one with the lecithin is on the right, the one without the lecithin is on the left. And then we'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch it forever. But you can see that separation happening. You can see that the oil is on the top and the vinegar is on the bottom in the one on the left and in the one on the right, nothing has happened. And that emulsion actually holds together for a couple of hours, which I am not going to record and show you. But that's what lecithin is. Thank you for watching today's episode on lecithin. The word lecithin comes from the Greek for egg yolk because the first time lecithin was found was in egg yolks. Currently, more often, the lecithin is from soy 
and that's because soy is cheaper than eggs and because soy is vegan and so it's more useful for a larger variety of diets. Thanks for watching Spurtle and Trivet. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Come back again. Bye!